So then guys, with the recent announcement of the brand new MacBook Pro with an M5, you've also got the iPad Pro with the M5 inside of it and the Vision Pro 2, a lot of you guys are wondering, will the Mac Mini also be getting an M5 put inside of it and also the M5 Pro? Well today I want to go over all the leaks and rumors we've heard about with the Mac Mini and also what kind of changes we're going to see with it. But first of all, a little quick history lesson where we are with the Mac Mini. So at the end of 2024, or I should say right at the beginning of November time, this was around about a year ago, we got an update to the Mac Mini with a brand new design. We got a far smaller design than the last generation of the Mac Mini it had been hanging around for about 12 to 14 years, I don't know the exact amount to be fair, but it'd been around a very, very long time. So we find you got a brand new design and really it's kind of like a mini version of the Mac Studio, what is pretty cool. We've got lots of great ports on it. So for example, on the rear, we have Thunderbolt 4 or Thunderbolt 5 ports, depending on what chip you get on it. You also get an ethernet port. We've also got some USB 3.2 ports on the very front as well, what is really, really handy. And also the headphone jack and also other great things. And the great thing about this Mac Mini is that you could just bring on your own sort of keyboard, your mouse, your own monitor, and just have a full Mac OS experience. Now the likes of the M4 Mac Mini is a fantastic buy out there as you can get the baseline version for 599 US dollars. And that will give you 16 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. And like I said, it gives you that full Mac OS experience and quite a powerful chip inside of this too. So it's a real, real great machine. But then if M4 is not enough for you, you can also opt for the M4 Pro. It fits in the exact same design of the Mac Mini, what is pretty awesome to see. And like I said now, this has been out for a year now. And to be honest, you can get some great deals on the Mac Mini where you can even pick it up for less than 500 US dollars brand new. And especially with Black Friday coming, I'm sure that's also going to be the case this time round. But then the next question you guys are wanting to know then, what is going to happen then with the Mac Mini with the M5? Because the M5 journey has now started. So as we know right now, we know exactly what the M5 chip is capable of. We have seen benchmarks for this and it is a real screamer in speed and lots of people out there are raving about how great the M5 is especially in its GPU potential and also for LLMs or for AI and things like this it is a real real great chip inside of it. It does have the exact same amount of cores as the M4 so what I'm talking about here is that we actually got a 10 core CPU and this is made up of six efficiency cores and four performance cores inside of it the exact same as the M4 and the same for the GPU GPU cores. We've actually got a 10 core GPU exactly the same as like we got with the M4 there. But like I said, it is far faster. And in fact, Apple have even claimed that sometimes you can even get up to say 45% increase in graphical performance than what you got with the M4. And this is amazing for what you get with this device. So you can imagine getting a Mac Mini with the M5 with that, for that same price tag of 599 US dollars, it is gonna be a real bargain to actually get one of these. But what I would also be saying with that is that when it does come out, the Mac Mini, what I'll get onto with the release date and price in just a minute, I wouldn't be expecting anything as much to change with this. So don't expect to get, say, the minimum amount of RAM to be 24 gigabytes. It's probably going to stay at 16. Or for example, the minimum amount of storage is probably going to stay at 256 gigabytes. If you remember the likes of the iPad Pro with the M5 inside of it, and also the likes of, say, the MacBook Pro, well, really for storage, it stayed exactly the same. It was it's only the iPad Pro that got up to 12 gigabytes with the baseline, but obviously 16 gigabytes is what you're gonna get with the baseline, you know, M4. That's not gonna go back down to 12, is it, for the M5? So yeah, it's probably still gonna stick around with 16 gigabytes of RAM as the base amount. But you will probably be able to opt for a 24 gigabyte RAM, and you'll also be able to opt for the likes of a 32 gigabyte with the M4 option. 
But a lot of you guys are wondering what's going to happen with the likes of, say, the M5 Pro inside of the Mac Mini, because obviously we don't have the M5 Pro out yet. What's going to happen with the cores there? Well, in past history, Apple has shown us they normally increase the cores by a couple each time. And it's most likely this is going to be a very similar situation for the M5 Pro. So do remember with the current M4 Pro right now, you do actually have two configurations that you can pick from. You've either got the likes of the 12 core CPU or you've got the 14 core CPU. Now, in both both of these versions, you always get four efficiency cores, but the rest of the cores are made up of the performance cores. So the 12 core one, you know, you actually get eight performance cores, and then the likes with the 14, you get 10. But like I said, Apple like to increase the cores by a couple. So most likely for the CPU with the M5 Pro, this will be up to 16 cores this time round. So this means four efficiency cores and then up to 12 performance cores this time around. What's going to be absolutely amazing to see. But then it doesn't just change there. It will also be the GPU cores. This will probably also change as well. Do remember right now we have a choice of a 16 core GPU or the 20 core GPU with the M4 Pro. So most likely the M5 Pro will go up by two more cores again. So this will probably be up to a 22 core GPU. And this is gonna really push out performance by a lot. I'm gonna say even more than 50% more than what we got with the M4 Pro. Because at the end of the day, if we've got say the M5 to the M4 and there was no more GPU extra cores added, and that could give us say up to about 40 or 45% increase in performance in graphicals, could you imagine adding two more cores as well? we are easily going to get over 50% more performance than we got with the M4 Pro. So this is going to be amazing to see in the likes of the M5 Pro going into side the Mac Mini. Now the next question you might be asking about is what about the design of the Mac Mini? Is anything probably going to change there? And I'm going to say unlikely. It's probably going to stay exactly the same. Remember, we've just had the refresh in the design of the Mac Mini. It is probably not going to change for a good number of years. Remember, Apple kept the old Mac Mini design for around about 12, 14 years. So yeah, it's not gonna be updated anytime soon. So do expect the exact same design, but what I'd say is it's just gonna be the chips inside of it that is gonna change this time round. So then guys, just quickly, I wanna tell you something. I'm bringing out my own product in November time. So this month, a bit later on this month, and it's gonna be absolutely awesome. The main reason why it's gonna be absolutely awesome is that quite a few of you are gonna be able to get this for completely free. But that's a story for another day. But the main thing what I do wanna tell you about is the giveaway we're doing on this channel for this right here. That's right, I'm giving away on an international giveaway an iPhone 17 Pro Max to one lucky subscriber in mid-January time, 2026. Now this iPhone 17 Pro Max, the good news about it, it does actually have a physical SIM card slot inside of it. So I know there's some countries out there that don't take eSIM just yet. So just in case somebody out there wins it in a country that doesn't take physical, you know, eSIMs, well, you've got the physical SIM. So that's going to be really great news for you. But to enter into this giveaway, you just have to do two things. The first thing you need to do is just put down into the comments right now of what technology gear you're hoping to get before the end of 2025 or even into early 2026. And what you're looking to get can be anything out there. It could be a new iPhone, it could be a new MacBook, it could be a new iPad, it could be nothing to do with Apple whatsoever. It could be say a new Nintendo Switch 2 or a new drone or something like this. Just put it down into the comments below. Now the other part of the giveaway is going to be happening in mid-January time. And at that time, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a video on this channel giving you even more details for the giveaway, including a form to fill in too. So you won't want to miss out on that video because I'll also be announcing when I do the live stream too. So the best thing you could do right now is make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell because you won't want to miss out on that. Plus you also want to be a subscriber too because obviously I'm giving this away to one lucky subscriber. Now the last thing I just also want to say to you guys is that sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating me tend to WhatsApp Telegram, Instagram direct message, please do ignore these people. As best you can see right here, please do report them. 
So moving on from this then, what about the release date and the price then for the new Mac Mini? Well, let's start out then with the release date. Well, we did actually have a leak in right here telling us about the actual Mac Mini that it looks like it is on target to come out in 2026. We have seen this leak right here, which shows us in Mac OS Tahoe that in a later version of it, so we're talking like version 26.4, even 26.5, Five potentially, this is when we will get an update to it. So if you know your maths and when versions of Mac OS are gonna come out, we are looking towards the summer of 2026. Remember, before this time, we've got to get the likes of the MacBook Air, they're gonna come out. The likes of, say, the MacBook Pros with the M5 Pro and the M5 Max, they've also got to come out too in springtime. Most likely, the Mac Mini is targeted for a summer release this time round, and probably it's gonna come alongside the likes of the Mac Studio and also the iMac. So it looks like Apple are gonna release all of their desktops all together. What is gonna be pretty cool to see in the summer in sort of WWDC 2026 time. So just be aware of that, that it is gonna be a good number of months until we get a good increase with the Mac Mini. And do remember that in the past with say previous Mac Minis, it has also taken anywhere between 18 months to a couple of years for Apple to update the Mac Mini. So this is quite normal for them to do it. They don't normally update the Mac Mini every single year, you know, within 12 months or just over 12 months. So this does actually Actually fit in quite well with this way that Apple like to do their updates. So just be aware of that too. But then for price wise, it is more than likely, especially based on what we saw with the iPad Pros and also with the MacBook Pros with the M5 and even the Vision Pro, that even just getting a new chip inside there, Apple didn't increase the price in. So the baseline version with the M5 chip inside of the Mac Studio is probably going to stay exactly the same. So this will still be that great 599 US dollars for the baseline version. But then for the likes of the M5 Pro, and if you get the bin down version, that's what I like to say of it. So this is the one that I would be saying what would be coming along with say the 14 core CPU what we spoke about earlier, maybe an 18 core GPU inside of that. Well, that's probably gonna stay exactly the same price as the previous M4 Pro, the current one that exists right now. So that's probably gonna be around about 1,399 US dollars for that one. But obviously you do get 24 gigabytes of RAM. You've also got 512 gigabytes of storage so things have perked up a little bit there compared to what you get with the baseline sort of m5 or m4 mac mini but really guys that is the latest and greatest we have on the mac mini are you excited for it are you going to be getting one well let me know in the comments below and on that note as well guys it's time to wrap up the video too so if you have enjoyed watching it please do press the like button and as always you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparisons make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell until next time guys i'll see you really soon take care Bye-bye.